What's up, ham radio community? It's K0LWC. I got something special for you today. We're gonna to take a look at the ultimate ham radio mobile. Let's check it out. This is the coolest remote control you've ever seen. Check this out. Ah, oh, here it comes. That's right, it's driving itself. Oh, yes. That's right, some of you know what it is out there. This is my new ham radio mobile. This is the Tesla Model 3, all wheel drive, long range battery, and man, it doesn't get any better if you're a ham than to have a car like this. Well, unless you like to operate HF Mobile. So there it is in its brilliant white color. So this car is incredibly fast, incredibly quiet, incredibly luxurious, just an awesome car. And of course, if you're gonna have a ham radio mobile, you gotta have this. We got the uh, Comet SBB5 right here. And I do have another antenna. Um, this is like full ham radio geek right here. If I'm rocking this one, uh, like the ham fest I just went to, this was on the car, of course, but I do have the SBB2, which is much smaller and shorter. Um, that way, if I want something a little bit more sleek, I can just put that on the car. And here is what the SBB2 looks like. As you can see, just a bit more sleek it looks almost like it could be an AM FM radio antenna on the car, sort of kind of if you really stretch your imagination. Just a little bit easier on the eyes uh, for driving around town. Most of the repeaters here in Denver are up in the mountains, so it doesn't take much to get into them. So I really don't need like a crazy, crazy long antenna uh, for 70 centimeters and two meters. All right, so let's go inside and check out the inside of the car. Now, if you're wondering what I'm running here for the mobile and what the uh, setup will be, Let's take a look. All right, starting off, first things first, we got the Kenwood D710G. For those that have the radio, you know this is a fantastic radio. It's VHF, UHF, the built-in TNC for APRS. This is just a great rig, highly recommend it if you're looking for a great uh, dual band rig, uh, whether for your shack or for your car for that matter. Uh, just get this out of the way. Obviously I got my uh, Redivis RT3S um, radio here. Just move that aside for now. Uh, you'll notice I got another uh, microphone here, which feeds back here into this deep cubby. And that is for another DMR, DMR radio, excuse me, that I can bury down here in this really deep center console and operate DMR as well. So uh, analog here on one side, uh, DMR here on the other, both buried down and kind of mounted in this center console area. But this is where things get super cool, folks. Uh, up here on the screen, this car does have a full HTML5 web browser built in. So what you're gonna notice here is I have the reflector gateway dashboard up for what we use here in Denver. Um, so this is actually the XLX303 multi-protocol reflector gateway. And you can see, uh, I was just actually there talking to uh, Jimmy N7VDR. Uh, so you can see me on there as K0LWC. So that's right, while I'm out rolling around, I have a live DMR dashboard uh, right here in my car. Now, how freaking cool is that? Another thing to keep in mind with the Tesla Model 3 at least, there really is only two places to mount an antenna on this vehicle. Now, up top we have an entirely big piece of glass that goes literally from the windshield all the way back here to the trunk. So glass, no bueno, especially because it has heavy, heavy coatings on it. So a through glass antenna probably is not gonna work. Now, you can squeeze a mount right back here on kind of this upper arm of the trunk, but just keep in mind, there's a very tight tolerance here, um, but I have seen some mounts that can work. And the only other place you can really mount an antenna is down here where I have my Comet SBB2 and SBB5, which is right off the hood. Not a bad place to mount an antenna. But again, this spot and the spot in the rear are really the only two options you have to mount an antenna on this vehicle. Now, you may be wondering, what about the trunk? The trunk in the dead center, you can squeeze a mount in here, but I would be extremely nervous about that mount hitting this glass over and over and over and putting pressure here and potentially cracking this very expensive piece of glass. What I've learned installing my ham radios in this car for the first time is to be no surprise, this car is like one big rolling Faraday cage. When you take an HT, stick it outside in the window, get some signals and you pull that radio back inside the vehicle, 
it pretty much takes out anything you can imagine. AM radio, um, some FM signals are highly, highly degraded, but with all the electrical running in this car, it really should be no surprise. Some of you might be wondering, have I tried HF in this car, mobile? And the answer is no, I cannot help you there, but I would assume it's not gonna be good. Tesla actually does not offer terrestrial AM radio in the Tesla Model 3, simply because I think they did not want to engineer out all the interference they're gonna get from the two electric motors, at least in this model, that are in the car. Another thing we've got to talk about is how to power your radio. Now, there is a standard 12 volt battery underneath the front hood of the Tesla Model 3. However, Tesla recommends you do not hook anything to it because the electrical system in here is incredibly, incredibly sensitive. How sensitive? This sensitive. When you have your car powered on, you can have something hooked to the 12 volt battery, no problem. However, they recommend you turn that off when the car is shut down. But even by powering down your radios, there is still a micro amount of power feeding to the power button on the radio to be prepared for when you push the power button to turn the radio back on. That minimal amount of juice is even picked up by the car and can cause problems. So what do you do? You have to hook up your radios to the cigarette lighter plug inside the vehicle. Now, don't worry, it can handle continuous 15 amps, so running a mobile radio will be no problem. You're just gonna have to find yourself an adapter. So if you're thinking about getting a Tesla, I highly, highly recommend it. They are amazing cars. The future is now, get one. But if you're also considering, can I mount my radios in the car and actually use them, the answer is absolutely yes. Do keep in mind, you're gonna be restricted with probably HF not being a good idea. You definitely can run two meters and 70 centimeters. You can do digital and you can do analog, no problem. HF, eh not so great, uh, that's just the nature of electric vehicles.